Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve a problem that has been asked in DocuSign for HT1 or UI1 role at the Seattle location in 2019. So if you see in this, there are two problems or two programming problems have been mentioned. One is to write an algorithm in which we have to write the number of steps it will take to reach from one number to another. So from one to 10 where you can either double or add one and the second problem is we have to write or we have to find all the mutual friends of a given person so we are given a list of person with their friends and we have to find all the mutual friends list so we are going to solve the second problem and then later we are going to solve the first problem because first problem is little tricky so let's solve this second problem so here if you see the question there is a person called A who has friends B and C. Then there is a person B who has friends D and G. Person D has friend P and Q. And then person L has friend X and Y. So if I say I have to find all the mutual friends of A, the final list contains B, C, D, G, P and Q. Because uh, B and C are the direct friends of A. So B B's friend are D and G, so D and G is included in the list. And if you see D's friend are P and Q, so those are also included in the list. So let's see how we can solve this. Let me copy the list from here. Let's go to code pen and here let me form a map of this. So I'll convert this to an object so that we can better process the input. font mapping then I'm converting this to object now the person a string so I have to convert them to string similarly So here we have the mapping of all of them. Now A's friend, B's friend, D's friend and L's friend we have the map. Now let's write our program. So let me create a function. And this will take the mapping of the friend list and the entry point. So the person whose mutual friend we have to find. So that will be a string. Now the first thing we will do is, we will see if the friends for the given person exist in the mapping or not. So let's get that. Friends list, mapping and person. If the list for the, uh, sorry, if the person has friends, then we have to find all its mutual friend and do all the further processing in the program. Otherwise, we have to return an empty list because the person does not has any friends. So we'll check if friends list and so if friend list is there, it's not undefined. So let's say if you are checking for G and Q. So because G and Q entry is not present in the mapping, it will return undefined. So this is a truthy check. And second is if friend list dot length is greater than zero so it's not an empty array then we have to do the processing otherwise we have to return the empty list now if friend list exists so we create a final list in which all the mutual friends will be there so in this I add the current friends initially using the spread operator so current friend list will be added to the final list through this and then we iterate all the friends of friend list and recursively check if so we recursively call the same function and for each friend we check 
that if there is entry for them in the mapping so if the mutual friends function sorry it's a function so if the mutual friends have the friend list for this given friend so if there is an entry for this friend of friend list so we have to get that list and we'll basically merge them in the final list so final list dot push and then we spread them so once we have the friends of all the friend once we have the friend list of all the friends in the current list so basically we have formed all the mutual friends by recursively calling the same function so here we let's say we are at a we get b and c as friends so we check for b and then we check for c so for the c we will get the empty list so there will be no addition and for the b we will get d and g so we recursively again check for d and g as well similarly in the d we recursively check for p and q so these will recursively check for all the friends list and then we add them in mutual friends list and finally once the addition is done we'll return the final list so let's see if this is working or not so let's say console.log and here i pass the mapping and then a so we are looking for A's mutual friend. Let's run this. Unexpected token equal. Sorry, this is a, so I've wrongly defined the function. So see we are getting the mutual friends list we're getting b c d g p and q for the entry of a now let's check for the entry of b what we are getting so for the b we should get d and g and then p and q because these list uh, these friends are p and q and b's friends are d and g so all combined we have a mutual friend list of these four so let's run that let's check for b Now you see we are getting the list. Similarly, if I check for L, so we only get X and Y. And if I check for any other entry, let's say if I check for Q, I'll get the empty list. So that's it, a simple problem we can solve using recursion. Thank you for your time.